Sample determination is essential in any study or research so that the researcher correctly describe the details and information they want in a population. And further, verify the veracity and applicability of the results of the study or research. Please take note of this. Larger sample size gives more reliable results with greater precision and power, but they also cost more time and money. That's why we need a specific way to determine a smaller size but can determine the characteristic of the population. And one of this is the Slovene's formula. For this video, I will discuss Slovene's formula for senior high school statistics and probability. Before I proceed, please subscribe my math YouTube channel. Now, let's continue for this definition. Slovin's formula is the most common formula in determining the sufficient sample size to represent the population in any research or study. Its formula, lowercase n equals uppercase n over 1 plus uppercase n e squared. Where lowercase n represents the sample size, uppercase n represents the population size, and lowercase e for the desired margin of error. If s the allowance for non-precision because of the use of sample instead of population. Let us illustrate further Slovin's formula by answering some problems related in determining the sample size. Number one, for instance, in your research, if the population is 2,400 and the margin of error you allow is 3%, what is the sufficient sample size? To determine or solve for the suggested or sufficient sample size for the population of 2,400, first read and understand the problem and write the given. Continue. Lowercase n representing the sample size is unknown. Uppercase n represent the population is 2,400. Lowercase e represents the margin of error is 3% or 0 0.03. We will use that given or information to solve for the sample size using the formula lowercase n equals uppercase n over 1 plus uppercase n e squared. Let us now start solving. Represent the value of uppercase n which is 2,400 to both the numerator and denominator of the formula. Substitute also 0 0.03 to the lowercase e on the formula. After substitution, the general equation to solve for the sample size is lowercase n equals 2,400 over 1 plus 2,400 quantity 0 0.03 squared. Simplify first the exponents. So we have 0 0.03 squared equals 0 0.0009. Next, multiply 2,400 and 0.0009. Its product is 2.16. Simplify the denominator, 1 plus 216 equals 3.16. Simplify further the whole expression by dividing 2,400 divided by 3.16 and the quotient is 759.49. Since we are talking with person or any population, we don't have 0 0.49 a value so we need to round up 759.49 to 760 remember in any decimal we have we will round up the value no round down by that we can now say that the suggested or sufficient sample size for 2400 is 760 <laughs> Other formula used by researchers in knowing the sample size is the Lin's formula. This is not commonly used because the formula is quite complicated, the numbers involved while solving is higher, and the sample size is also higher in compared to Slovin's formula. So according to them, Slovin's formula 
is more comfortable rather than Lean's formula. Problem number two, a student wants to conduct a research for his subject requirement. If the school has a total number of students of 1,836, solve for the sample size he need using the 95% confidence level. For our given, again, lowercase n or the sample size is unknown. The uppercase N or the population is 1,836. Our margin of error is represented by 95% confidence level. 100 minus 95 equals 5%. So therefore, 5% equals 0 0.05. Substitute the givens on the formula. Substitute 1,836 took uppercase N to both of numerator and denominator and 0 0.05 to lowercase e. Again, after substituting the values on the formula, our general equation to solve for the sample size is lowercase n equals 1,836 over 1 plus 1,836 times 0 0.05 squared. Again, first to simplify is the exponent. So we have 0 0.05 squared equals 0 0.0025. Multiply 1836 and 0 0.0025. Its product is 4.59. Next, simplify the denominator. 1 plus 4.59 equals 5.59. Simplify further, 1,836 divided by 5.59 equals 328.44, which will be round up to 329. Therefore, the suggested or sufficient sample size for this problem is 329. <laughs> Next problem, number three, compute the sufficient sample size of a target population of senior high school students consisting of 144 grade 11 and 172 grade 12 students with 5% error of tolerance. For this specific problem, we need to apply the stratified random sampling because we have two groups of students we have grade 11 and grade 12 with different number of students before we solve for the total sample size much better if we will represent the problem in two columns table the first column is for the grade level second column for population size showing that grade 11 has 144 grade 12 has 172 a total senior high school students of 316 Next, identify the given, the sample size or lowercase n is unknown, total population or the uppercase n is 316, e or error of tolerance is 5% or 0 0.05. Let us proceed by substituting the above values on the formula. Substitute 316 to n of both numerator and denominator and 0 0.05 to e on the denominator. Simplify first the exponent, 0 0.05 squared equals 0 0.0025. Simplify further the denominator using calculator. The result is 1.79. 316 divided by 1.79 equals 176.54, which can be rounded up to 177. So, our sample size is 177. Our next question is, out of 177, how many are grade 11 and how many are grade 12 students? To solve for the specific sample size for grade 11, the formula is the population size for grade 11 all over the total population times the desired sample size. By substitution, the population size for grade 11 is 144 over 316 times 177. Its result is 80.66, round up to 81. It means that the sample size for grade 11 is 81. 
Let us also solve the sample size for grade 12 using the same uh, formula. The population size for grade 12 is 172 over 316 times 177. If we will simplify 172 over 316 times 177 using calculator, it is equal to 96.34 rounded to 96. It means that the sample size for grade 12 is 96. If we will add the sample size of grade 11 which is 81 and sample size of grade 12 which is 96, its result is 177 which is equivalent to the total sample size. Therefore, we can now say that the total sample size is 177 composed of 81 grade 11 and 96 grade 12 students. Again, if this video helps you, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to help others, kindly share this video to them.